Hello, I'm Susie Cowper of Tea Cozy Folk and welcome to the vlog for March. And this March, I'm doing the March Knitting Challenge. Woo! Hence the t-shirt, do you like it? For the challenge, I thought I'd design a tea cozy knitting pattern with a March theme and I decided on a March hair because hairs are lovely, aren't they? So I'm going to design a tea cozy knitting pattern for a March hair and I'm going to raffle off the knitting pattern as a prize. So anybody who sponsors me will be entered into the prize draw and it doesn't matter if you sponsor me a pound or 500 pounds, everyone will get the same chance. So if you pop along and sponsor me, I'll put the link below and then you can sponsor me and then you'll be in for a chance of winning. I suppose you want to see what the design's going to look like, don't you? Here it is. I drew it earlier. So it's a lovely little March hair. Oh, isn't he cute? So I thought I'd give him full size and he'll have to have a neck because they're quite long animals, aren't they? They're quite tall. So, and he'll just be sitting in a nice sitting position. And I thought that'd be really cute and hopefully we'll raise lots of money for Versus Arthritis because that's what it's all about. While we're on this topic of charity knitting, I've designed a little tea cosy. Look. <laughs> he's, um, oh, it's for Red Nose Day. Of course he is. He's for comic relief to raise money. And I've um, got the knitting pattern. It's just a two page knitting pattern. And it's a free download. So if you pop along to Tea Cozy Folk, go to the free knitting patterns page, you'll be able to download this knitting pattern and knit your own. And you know, it does ask you to, if you can donate a couple of pound, that would be great. Or if you're gonna knit them and sell them and raise money for Red Nose Day, you know, that's just marvellous, that'd be wonderful. And because they do such great work. This week, I'm launching the knitting pattern for the Jubilee Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies. So, get your chocolate oranges out. It's a really big pattern. I think it's the longest one I've ever done. And there's eight designs, all royalty themed. So I'm gonna quickly dash through and show you them, okay? Get ready. So this is the queen. There she is. Hello. <laughs> That's the queen. This is the queen's corgi. I'm sure she's got a corgi called Susan. I'm sure I heard that somewhere. I don't think I'm making it up or dreaming. But that's the little corgi. He's really sweet. Then, oh look, the Queen's guard. Because you've got to have a guard, haven't you? I love his massive busby. And then, oh, you know the Queen wants us all to plant trees, doesn't she? For the Queen's green canopy. So that's a little tree. Oh, this one's good, because, you know, if you're having a royal event, you would want a bottle of champagne, complete with cork, look. And it's got the 70 on, to remind us that 70 years on the throne. And then, oh, ta-da, I showed you this one before. Uh, the little Jubilee flag. It's not the Jubilee flag, it's the Union Jack. And a crown. Yeah, and ta -da, the Golden Stage Coach. There it is, lovely. So all these are on the same pattern, so you can knit them all. I don't know what order you're gonna knit them in. I knitted the Queen first, because well, you got to have you? So um, yeah, so that'll be released this week. This one's Simply Knitting, have you got it? Issue 221. Anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick show, because I'm in it. Um, so the, the front cover looks like this. You can't always see the front covers now though, now they've put them in bags. So, oh, here's my first knitting pattern that's in there, to make a guinea pig bolster. Oh, I love guinea pigs. So that's that. And then, oh, and then there's another one, which is a bit unusual, look. It's a knitted lampshade, and then you use a lampshade kit to build it. Rather funky, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely magazine, loads of lovely things in it. Well worth getting. Subscribe if you can. 
Oh, and I'm going to be in it a few more times. I was asked this week if I would knit three more tea cozies to feature in this year's Simply Knitting magazine. So that would be really nice. Do you remember I was knitting a puffer fish? Here he is. Isn't he lovely? He's so cute. I didn't know it was going to be so cute, but... Mm, mm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think he's really sweet. This um, tea cozy knitting pattern will be released on the 10th of March. But this is what he looks like. Look, he's got a little tail and his spikes. It's the eyes, isn't it? Gorgeous eyes. Really nice. So 10th of March, put a note in the diary. This is one I've just finished knitting. He's just come off the needles. I finished sewing him up yesterday. So I've got to get him test knitted yet. So the pattern won't be going live until the 24th of March. But look, he's an old Victorian photographer. Look, watch the birdie. It's really cute. So if you don't like doing faces, this is the perfect tea cozy because you can't see his head because he's covered up under a, under a sheet. They had to do that, didn't they? Keep the light out. But yeah, so he's under the sheet. He's got a big bottom because he's bending over and he's looking through the camera. Look. It's a box camera. But if you wanted to make it look more modern, you know, you could just give him an ordinary head and put face on and and it would look all right. Because they still use tripods and things, don't they? They still bend over to have a look. You just wouldn't have to do the sheet. So you could make it more modern. Change the colours, do it a silvery camera. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's what I've been working on. So I started a new tea cozy, I started last night, and I'm doing the bin man. Look, I was inspired by my old man's adjustment. It's such a funny song, and I've been singing it while I've been knitting. But, um, you know, bin men have been so important in our lives during lockdown and everything. And, you know, I think they're undervalued, aren't they? So I thought I'm gonna do a little knitted tribute to dustmen with a tea cosy, and that's as far as I've got. So that's his jumper, and the bottom bit of his dungarees, look. Oh, I can't hold it very well. There, look, see? So, you know, I only started yesterday. So, but it's coming on, it'll get there. And I thought that would be a really lovely tribute. And it's nice to do frontline workers, isn't it? Because. I think most people must know a bin man or had a bin man in their family or, you know, it's an important job. So I wanted to do that. Well, I had so much to talk about today, as you can see, the table's full and um, it's gonna be a mad march, I think. So I hope you all enjoy knitting and I'll put all the links that I mentioned down in the comments below. And, um, and then you can find all these things, you know, the free patterns and all that malarkey. Okay, so see you in April.